Trigger Man, where we play no games, and we got good aim. Welcome to the channel, and thank you for watching. What up, what up? Boy Trigger Man, back in the lab. And today is the ANI F60, F160. That's what we're doing today. It's 3.15, I got 45 minutes to get out of here. We clock out at four, so we're running behind. So this is what we're doing, this Audi. I was gonna do a smaller job with this, and we're doing the bumper too. Got the bumper there, Audi, hood, fender, door, door, quarter, and then on this side here we got, uh, yeah, that's this door here, fender. So I'm gonna knock it out quick, and uh, it's Friday. Try to have this up by the weekend for you guys. So stay tuned. Bop. All right, all right. Here with this A and I F160. You guys asked for it, so I went and got it. Now, I BS you not, I had never heard of this gun, this brand of gun, until I started this channel. And uh, I don't know how it slipped under my radar, but this is a very nice gun. Really nice gun. I liked it. It sprays smooth, just like any of my, you know, high dollar guns. From Segola, Iwata, Developers. I mean, there's no faking it, you know. I don't know. You know, there's no, I can't. You see it right here, it's happening, it's live. You know, I keep stuff all the way real with you. And this gun is, is, is good, you know. That Kiwami number four, that Astro gun, you know. It's, I feel like this is not even in the same ballpark, you know. And for the price, you know, I got this from a paint rep. Um, he got it for me. It was $130, $134 I paid for it. You know, I think on Amazon it was a little more expensive. But mostly with my paint guns, you know, I just give a few calls to different paint reps and get a few prices. And, you know, they get me one in within a couple of days. So. You know, this cost me $134, and it's a nice gun. It looks cool. It looks real cool. I like the way it looked when I got it. I was like, yeah, I don't respect nothing now. This gun looked too damn cool to, to spray good. And it sprayed just like it looked. You know, this gun sprays good. This was, um, especially on this job, you know, this was a, a new Audi. And um, I wanted to come out pretty decent. But, you know, time was running out. It was Friday. And it's like, I wanted to spray the gun because I've been looking at it, you know, for the whole day, two days. And, like, I'm like, boy, I just said a prayer. Like the boy Sprayway say, you know, pray and then spray. You know, like, please, man, don't, 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 don't come spraying no goofy junk, man, and mess up this job. But instantly, as soon as I started on that first quarter, I knew, like, nah, this is a decent gun decent made you know and um yeah i like it so it's putting down base on this here audi and um smooth you know i haven't done metallics with it yet i want to give a spray on some metallics you know next week right now as i'm recording this it's um saturday you know i shot the video yesterday but uh, i was so tired when i got in and i got out this morning if you guys follow the channel you see i went in and I sprayed the jams on that Infinity, that Q50 that I bought. So I was just tired, man. And um, even now I'm dead tired, but I said, let me get this, let me get this done. So, but yeah, so I'm gonna spray, I wanna spray some metallics with it before I give a final, you know, final say that this is first place over the Astro. But I think this is it, you know. I can pretty much tell. It's like the build is solid, the gun feels solid, you know, and um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It has a wide, a wide fan, which I meant to spray it. Now that I just, I remember I was trying to get out of there, man, on Friday. I wanted to do a spray, um, 
pattern test, you know, and, and measure it with my, the, damn, I'm so damn tired, um, measuring tape, yeah, I want to measure it with my measuring tape, but, um, it's rushing, trying to get out of there, but the fan, the fan is wide, real wide, but I will measure it on the next video, and I'll put it in there for you guys, but, I know it's got to be at least 10, 11 inches, but, um, yeah, because if that Astro was nine, and this is way wider than that, that nine inches on that um Astro, yeah, it's got to be 10, 11 inch fan. And um, yeah, it itemizes good. This everything, you know. It doesn't put the paint out all big and blotchy, and that's like it. It breaks it up, and it does its thing, man. I just don't know how I, it went under my radar. I never even you know, heard of it, but damn good gun. Again, I, I never watched a whole lot of YouTube videos, so that's probably how I missed it. You know, I'm just so busy with my life and painting and, you know, the guns that the painters that I know use. And, you know, then when I get out of here, I'm off to the gym and doing my own thing. So I'm really not, you know, out in the world with all these different little guns and gadgets and stuff. Like I actually just learned about the um, the light that goes on the spray gun. You know, I see little commercials, ads pop up, you know, on my social media, but I never really knew what those, those, those lights, you know. And one of my subscribers here, you know, told me where to find one on Amazon. So I actually got it sitting in my cart and I'm thinking about it. You know, putting a little light on the gun, and I'm not sure what it's for or what the purpose in it, but it looks cool. So, you know, I'm open to trying things. This is my second coat of base. Second coat of base. That wasn't a peace sign. That was second coat. So, just going over it with a lighter coat, and this will be the only, yeah, second coat, and that'll be it for this car here. Yeah, this gun is smooth. Actually, when I went in today to paint the jams on the Infinity that I bought, and I was going to spray this gun, but I'm like, eh, this is my personal car, and let me just stick to what I know. So, I didn't do it. <laughs> but it could it probably would have handled it. It definitely would have handled it. But I just wanted, um, wanted it to come out right. And it was a breeze. Like I said, I I was in there. I think it was three, three fifteen, or three o'clock, something like that. But um, yeah, I know I had like 40, 45 minutes to get this entire job done. And then, like I said, I didn't know if the gun was gonna be choking a little and not really putting out as much material. But yeah, I went in there and hammered it. I mean, the paint was coming out good. It's atomized, coming out. You know, no, no choking. It was just flowing smooth. Very smooth. I'm actually looking forward to spraying with it next week when I get in Monday. You know. So I went all the way with this one. You know, base with it. Clear my clear here and it really perform I mean it's pretty much safe to say this is first place but I'm gonna wait until I spray a metallic job to really give it um you know that full stamp the trigger man stamp but so far, yeah, this is it. Like I say, I went in um, this morning to do that Infinity, and I kind of thought this might kind of die back on me a little because I just hammered it on real fast. And like I said, 40 minutes to do this entire job. I mean, it's pretty much almost an overall. 
minus the trunk, rear bumper, roof, and one door. But um, I hammered it on pretty fast and back to back. So I thought it was gonna die back a little. And uh, when I went in this morning, I went and peeked in the spray booth and it was still wet. It still looked the same. So. Yeah, these mirrors annoy me just like they annoy you. So, you know, I can't do nothing about it. I tried taking the mirror off with a paint gun. And it's just something I'm not capable of doing. You goddamn trigger man. Get those goddamn mirrors off those cars. Sick of looking at you and these goddamn mirrors and door handles and shit. Come on, Trigger Man. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. <laughs> My apologies, man. I'm going to say it every time, too. You know. My apologies with these damn mirrors and door handles. It's no fun for me either, but hey. And on the hood, man, this thing was just hammering. I like it, man. I like it. I like it. It was hammering. The MC Hammer. Hammer time. That's what it was. That's what it was doing. I said it from the beginning. If you ain't got a wet hood, your paint job ain't no good. Take it out and redo them. But yeah, this thing was hammering, man. I like it. And to that subscriber, the first subscriber that told me, try the A&I. &I. And I looked it up. And I'm like, no, nah, man, another one of these old $100 guns. Man, y'all gonna get me fired, man, playing around with these cheap guns. But this, oh no, but this is it. This is it. This sucker sprayed like a four, five hundred dollar gun here. I'm telling you. Oh, and what a subscriber did tell me is that this uses up a lot of air so for the guys that have like the smaller compressors you know i'm not really sure about you know the cfm i think they call it or any of that you know i'm really not up on any of that stuff you know i apologize you know for not being as informed on that but i've always sprayed you know in a big shop and even when I was doing work at my house, you know, I had a big 60 gallon uh, DeVilbis uh, two stage compressor, you know, and that was at my house in my garage, you know, had the big plug to where your dryer goes in the 220 volt plug, you know, I had it wired up and it used to, you know, I had a big compressor even at home when I was doing side work. So, you know, if you guys are at home doing side work, I mean, maybe you can you know get you a bigger compressor man and you know so i did it you know so i mean it can be done i mean unless you're spraying inside of an apartment down in the parking lot which i doubt if you're doing stuff at home obviously you have a house and if you have a house you have 220 volt you know and you can you can do this you know get a bigger compressor with the plug get the pigtail that goes on the back of your dryer or the stove you know and um yeah plug it in and, and run a big boy but this is worth it man you know to put out professional looking work with a gun like this yeah man yeah yeah i used to spray in my house for years you know, in my garage on the side of my house and i had that big compressor it was a devilbus you know two stage it was a 60 gallon. It wasn't 80 like we have in the shop. 60 gallon compressor. Yeah, man. We painted hundreds of cars there. Yep. Even painted all of my neighbor's car for free. So that they wouldn't uh, complain about the, the overspray and the smell. So, yep. It was good old days. Now I don't have the energy to keep up with that shit. <laughs> but yeah, so invest in your bigger compressor if you can. I mean, I don't know, you know, much about the what it what it requires as far as the air pressure. 
Um, I was spraying this at 30 PSI. I don't know if that helps any, but you can look up the um, the details on the gun and see if you know your compressor meets the requirements. But um, yeah, spray damn good. For somebody who you guys may want to reach out to and check is my boy um, Underground Paint King. Check out his channel. I know he talks a lot about. You know the smaller compressors and the different guns he would definitely be somebody that would um be able to answer that for you like right off the bat so you know and even if you don't have that question for him go check out his channel you know he's one of the first and only channels on youtube that actually you know shot it out trigger man and you know dropped me down in his um on his platform and I respect them, you know, UPK, Underground Paint King. I salute you, brother, and I appreciate you for that. And um, you guys go check him out. I mean, I don't have much followers, you know, but the little bit I can send his way, you know, check him out. He's a solid dude. But, um, yeah, so I'm just loving the way this gun is putting down on his hood, man. That hood look. Mm, fabulous. I mean, I, you know, my favorite panel on the vehicle is the hood. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm always talking about it. I ran out of clear there. But yeah, that hood, I just love to slam it, get heavy on them hoods. I like to tiptoe in solvent pop territory. You know what I'm saying? I know just how far to push it before I start getting solvent pop. And I just like to tiptoe and creep around that, that solvent pop. But I don't get it, so. so I come back over it, just heavy, heavy on them hoods. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna hang on to this gun. As you know, the Kiwami gun that belonged to my prepper, the Astro gun I actually purchased, and once my prepper saw it. The way I sprayed with it, you know, he wanted to buy it from me, so I sold it to him for the $90 that I paid for it. But this gun here, now I'm keeping this one. That's guaranteed. And I have well over $10,000 worth of spray guns. I got every gun that, that's pretty much every gun set that's out there. You know, from the base gun to the clear gun, the matching set, you know, I got them. But, um,. Yeah, I like this gun. I'm going to hold on to this one. Yep. Now, I did end up with a little sag right under this mirror. Right there, up under that mirror. A small sag, which I didn't note right there. I think right when I hit that mirror. A little small sag. Which I didn't notice until this morning when I went in and I peeked in the spray booth to see if it died back on me at all. It was a small sag under there. But, um, and that's only because that damn mirror is in my way and I, I bumped the mirror a little. Any of you guys that paint with a mirror on, you know what I'm talking about. No, Trigger Man, no, I don't paint with no mirror on no damn car. That's butcher work, man. What the hell are you talking about, Trigger Man? No, no, we paint in perfect conditions. No, no. No way. Yeah, right. <laughs> you ain't got to lie. Sweet. Breathe. See, I sprayed the base. The base was, I believe it was at 25 PSI. Between 20 to 20 to 25. I apologize for not remembering exactly. I said I was so tired yesterday. But I know for sure the, um, the clear was at 
30 psi so but i will spray a few more with it you know and i'll and i'll keep you guys up to date but that's what it is all right all right it's 355 i made it boy this thing here is the truth this thing sprayed like a regular a regular expensive nice gun man i like it i like it so far i like it a lot a whole lot i like it i like it trigger man likes it this sucker is smooth trigger smooth atomization is smooth everything got no complaints on this here a and I, F-160, F-160, yeah, F-160. Yeah, man, this thing is smooth. This thing is smooth. A little piece of dirt in the hood, but as you can see, I mean, it lays it down. It lays it down. It lays it down. So yeah, so Friday, about to get up out of here. Uh, I'll work on the video probably tomorrow. Try to get it up by Sunday for you guys. Peace. Yep, yep. So that's what it is. The A and I F-160 solid gun. Trigger man stamped and approved. Certified. I don't care what nobody tell you. But no, I'm just playing. That's my opinion. So please like, share, subscribe. Subscribe. Tell a friend. And tell his girlfriend. I'm out.